Hi, I'm Kendall Trotter. And I'm Steve Hawks. Thanks for tuning in to this continuation of the Las Vegas Real Estate Update. We've been here with Dana, uh, our last two episodes, and we were talking about uh, builder mortgage fraud. Um, a lot of people out there are probably going to say, Steve, that's not mortgage fraud. They were advertising it in the paper, and everybody came and well, did it. And, like we said before, the buyers weren't the ones hiding the addendums. The buyers did not know. So if they didn't know, how could they really be the, the innocent buyer? Now, there were some groups that were targeting these builders that were doing this, but the builders were targeting people to do it. And the builder, not some builders, let's make that clarification, not all builders, but some builders, some big builders, were take, they were the ones taking the addendum out mm -hmm. that showed all this money going back to the buyers. So the institutional investor like Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, Aurora, Credit Suisse, all, the, all these guys that are countrywide. So that they would not see these, this money going back to them. So the builders were the ones, a lot of the builders were the ones taking the addendum out. The buyers didn't know that the addendums were being taken out. Right. Steve, I'd like to touch on something real quick. Um, as a re result, people don't realize one of the biggest lenders that um, this particular company brokered loans to is no longer in business. It was one of the biggest lenders in town, and, and they've had to shut their doors. They're no longer here. So The, the fallout from this, uh, and we've been talking about this for going on six months now, the fallout is huge, and it, and, uh, it was just starting to come into play when we first started reporting on this. Uh, but one thing I want to talk about is home values. Uh, in 2004, 2005, home values pretty much doubled in, in southern Nevada. And they did well other places, too. You know, by all means, Phoenix, Southern Cal, and even places in the Midwest and South. But in Las Vegas, if you came here and rolled the dice, you hit a jackpot every time just right. about. If you right. got in and got out at the same time. That caused, you know, if you wanted to go buy a 2,000 square foot home in a brand new track and it cost 375000 then the resale track across the street or across town had to be worth similar right. to that and so all of a sudden boom everybody's getting letters for HELOCs you know right. and, and 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 everybody took advantage of it not that they should know right. but who who would have thought that the crazy train would ever well, end well so now now we know that the people that bought a lot of people that bought a refi in 06 07 paid or refinanced a lot of times some neighborhoods anywhere between two and four hundred thousand dollars more than they should have and that's that's a fact now but unbeknownst to that of course, I'm going to them. Who knew that? How were they supposed to know that these builders, some of these builders were giving back $100,000 or $200,000? I personally had an experience where I got a phone call one day, and uh, it was a lender friend of mine. He said, hey, you should go out and check these places out. They're giving you $80,000 back if you buy their house. And they were advertising it. So I did. This was about a year, year and a half ago, maybe end of 06. And uh, I investigated it, and they were doing it. But I found one of their old sales flyers, and the old sales flyer was just eighty thousand dollars less than their new sales flyer. Flyer, so basically they'd raise their price eighty thousand dollars, and they were willing to give it back to you, and you could do whatever you wanted. To. Right. And what that what that did that attracted these investment groups. They were advertising to people, we can get you eighty thousand dollars. Like if someone wanted to open a business and they couldn't get a loan, they would go buy a house from one of these builders and get eighty thousand dollars back. I have several people that are short selling their home now that did this and they thought it was okay because professionals are telling them it's okay. And if people want to see the result of this, there's a street in the northwest. The viewers can contact us and we'll give them the name of the street. There's sixteen houses on the street. Fourteen are bank owned homes. I you know what? They were selling for nine hundred thousand dollars. I know the street you're talking about. Now they're going for two, those, between those three and four hundred thousand dollars. Half the price of, of what they a were. third between three yeah. and four hundred thousand dollars now, and they're Absolutely. still not selling. But there's no. other streets as well, right? You know, not this just not, that street. Right. That's, it's not exclusive. Just, I know where you're talking the about. The street but, starts with a W. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kendall, it's ironic that an acquaintance of mine does sell foreclosures in town, and several of the homes that that were sold from the quote builder um, that I had worked at prior. I've seen several of those homes being sold by my acquaintance, by this realtor. So these homes, several of them have gotten foreclosed on, and that's a huge loss to. How about some of these communities that are, that are close by to our office, the newer ones, 40, 50% are in default or foreclosure. That's just gonna go up because now these 40, 50% are gonna cause the other people to say, hey, I'm out. 
In our first uh, mortgage fraud series we did, about five, six months ago, there was a neighborhood that we went to, and Steve and I were standing in a house, and it was actually our friend Jason Van Zandt's listing, and we were talking about the fraud that had happened there. Recently showed a, another house in that neighborhood. There's just nobody living in there. I mean, it, it, there's just a few people, and God help them. I mean, it's just so sad. Now, eventually, those houses are going to get picked up, but those houses sold for seven hundred thousand. Well, what did we and find I out? showed it for two hundred and seventy-nine thousand dollars. So my guy's like, "Hey, I got to make an offer on this because it last sold in '06 for seven hundred thousand, yeah, and, we, and that's right out of the tax record." And what did we find out? We found out that that builder was giving away ten to twenty percent back. Yeah, and that's a good and example. Another neighborhood. So I think the moral of the story is maybe we know how prices doubled in 18 months. Absolutely. In, there was in, the alternative so. creative ways that al several uh, individuals uh, opted out to, to, to sell. So now we're, we're in a severe correction, you know. Definitely. Uh, it, it's uh, it, when it, that was all fine and good when prices were going up 15, 20 percent a month, you know. And, and now the lenders are, it's, it's creating even a more of depressed market because it's a total backlash because not only do they want to not do what they did before they did that they want to pull back the reins and not even give you know reasonable loans right. to people now it right. seems and they don't know what the values are because like the mi companies are pulling out but it's going to correct itself and the good news it's going to go below what it should be just like it went above what it should be it's going to go below what it should be that's when you buy yeah. and that's why they call it professionals well like i always say if you can buy it for way less than you can build it, you know, how, how can you really go wrong? Especially with the price of materials and oil going through the roof. If you want to really go buy a new home now, um, not, no, we're not talking incentives now, but it costs a lot of money to build now. Lots are getting smaller, homes are getting taller, you know, not wider, they're getting taller now. And um, it's, it's, it, it, we're, we're in the throes of this right now. Um, however, I do think that uh, Las Vegas will come back. And I think it's going to come back different than it than it did before. It's going to be a slower, um, more moderate process. Well, it has to be. But and it will absolutely. be. But it always um, Southern Nevada has always been a very good bet. Had clients today coming from California. Basically, they said we can't wait to get out of California and move to Las Vegas. And they've been coming since I was I've moved, lived here since I was ten years old, and they've been coming ever since. And, uh, There's going stopping. to be some great opportunities here, definitely. So, people, you're listening to two guys right now that have their finger on the pulse of real estate. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Love your emails and your comments. I think we're about out of time. I'm Kendall Trotter. I'm Steve Fox with Dana Ellis. Thanks for coming in, Dana. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Las Vegas Real Estate Update.